In today's episode of City Skylines Mod Spotlight, we are checking out Game Anarchy. Hello peeps, Drogadil, welcome back to another episode of Mod Spotlight, the series in which I show you why you want these mods and how they work. Game Anarchy has no user interface or stuff like that, it works entirely in the background, but here in the mods options there is a lot going on. First, the stuff you probably will never need. Well, exact of course you want to work with this. One word of advice if you're using game anarchy turn off the vanilla settings of unlimited money unlimited ore oil all that stuff because that could conflict with the mod and it is advised to turn those off so first of all you are checking the uh, game language or whatever language you want the mod to be the achievement system is always available meaning even though you are using mods you are still getting achievements for whatever you know all the achievements on steam that stuff skip game intro interface i actually don't know what that is doesn't matter anyway allow place unique buildings without limit yeah you could basically have five of the same unique buildings as you can see i am not playing with uh, loads of these options but I just need them for a few things. So, options panel categories, but yeah, I think you can rearrange that stuff. Never check that out. Unlock options, unlock all, that's probably not so important, but that thing is really cool. Should you ever want to start a city with the train or something like that? In view view is always available. This means uh, those buttons in the thing, they are not unlocked by milestones. They're always there. Unlock all roads, unlock all transports, metro, police panel, policies panel, that stuff. All depletion rate and limited or re depletion rate and limited. You could boost it up to like 100% here, like vanilla. Bulldozing. Uh, yeah, so if you bulldoze or something you get full refund game initial cash there you could probably set that oh yeah there we go vanilla unlimited unmode allowed it <laughs> okay so you basically could turn as you can get in here you could turn it on and off all the time cash anarchy mode this is the hotkey thing so you just press the hotkey and you get i don't know what is it uh ah so it does it automatically whenever you are below that you get a yeah 50k yeah all right yeah cool as you can see i really <laughs> don't need that much of it all i need from the mod is that it, it unlocks the achievements because i'm not using any mods which would prevent those and i remove the source of noise pollution that's important for me just because it, it doesn't make sense for me that some unique buildings which are just a building have a bigger noise radius than a stadium like why <laughs> it's a building it does doesn't do stuff so yeah i want stuff to have the noise uh, removed i mean i still don't place any windmills within a residential area or stuff like that so uh, you could do the same for ground and water pollution remove that system no 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 remove garbage yeah so basically with game anarchy you could really cheat yourself into absolute easy mode uh maximize entertainment maximize land that's what probably the Eden pro does maximize education covers still need okay and here we can basically say how much money we want to get from our residentials so that's the mod as i said be really careful to not mix this up with any vanilla settings because this causes trouble yeah i find it really helpful because uh in the past you needed a mod for all the ground pollution noise pollution stuff you needed another mod for the achievement system you needed another mod for whatever right and now you have everything within this one that's it thanks for watching see you next time bye guys